And what is our loss? Good example. Most of most of us has some confusion. Our children do not know. So I made this flow chart to understand everything. Allah says in the Quran that we are nearer to Him than His juggler vein. What is the juggler vein? That is the juggler vein. We have vein here. Allah says, I am even closer than your own vein. So now you can understand how close He is with us. And if you see, this is the earth where we live. This is our solar system. And if you take the whole solar system, place it in the Milky Way, it is like a dot, tiny dot, so small. And there are Milky Ways which are so big, if you take our Milky Way, it will be like another dot. It's, everything is getting smaller. Everything is getting bigger also in the other direction. And this is our galaxy. And then we have, we have super cluster universe. This is the concept from the scientific perspective, that that can be the size of the universe. And Allah mentioned in the Quran, seven skies, like this, seven of them, one into the other. And one night, Angel Jibrail came to the Prophet and said, Allah SWT wants to meet with you, we want to talk with you. So they traveled to Jerusalem with all other, prayed with all other prophets, and they ascended the heaven. When they came to the boundary of the seventh heaven, as you can see that white uh, green dot, that is called the station of Angel Jibrail, Sidratul Muntaha. That is the station of Angel Jibrail where he stays. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, this is my stop sign. I cannot go any further. Let me go alone. So he traveled alone to the Arsh of Allah. That is the Arsh of Allah. And inside the Arsh, that is the Kursi. You know, for a human it is difficult to understand, but there is a kursi means why Allah SWT stays. And He controls everything in the vast universe, whether we find it or not. Vast universe, Allah SWT controls from there. So that is the better concept about understanding Allah's powers and authority. And there is a narration about His kursi, Ayatul Kursi we have. And that is also contact number. I want this picture to be everywhere, in the masjid, in the school, so educate our children about everybody, about Allah. Why is it? It is not like a doll or, or a cow or anything like that. It is more than that. So this is something educational. It is so powerful. You can see that you can go through all these spaces and he controls from there. In the same way, we have these same skies, seven skies, but there is a difference. There are three boxes. One is in worldly life. We are in this box. We are living on the earth. And everybody will have to leave. We cannot stay here forever. And when we leave, we go to the grave. In the grave, there are three questions. Those who are already dead, they are waiting over there. And those who will come in the future, they will also die and they will be buried also. And there will be a day of judgment. Day of judgment is 50,000 years. Every human being will rise and give account for his actions, activities, good or bad. Everything is being recorded by the angels and will be given uh, the listings. And there are five questions. You should know about these five questions. After that, it will be determined whether the person will go to heaven or hell. So the personal people will travel, there is a bridge over there, that is the bad bridge, and those people who will fall from the bridge, they will go to the hell. Plain and simple. And this is the hell. It is there. So we don't have to worry about it. Where is it? Allah is taking care. And those who will go to the heaven, like that, they will go to the heaven, that is the heaven. And that is the heaven. There are two different places. Heaven and hell. Only human being will go to. Allah SWT mentioned in the Quran that the fuel of the heaven, hell, is human and stone. So that will be our consequences. 
And there is a connection between heaven and hell. See, there will be some people who did bad things on the earth. Some Muslims, say. They will be punished in the hell, but eventually they will be transferred into hell after their punishment. And those who are not Muslims, they will be in the hellfire forever. We can argue, we can say anything you want, but that is the decision of Allah. That's how He is going to treat. So we should all be careful about how we deal our life, how we do our deeds, and we are accountable. And those who will go to the heaven, they have some all the good things. One of them is, he can be the neighbor of the Prophet. How about that? Who wants to be the neighbor of the Prophet? So beautiful, right? Second thing, you will be able to see the other. And third thing is, narrated by Imam Muslim. And the third thing is, Allah will assure you. People of the heaven will momentarily they will think that probably we have stayed enough, we have enough fun here, maybe Allah will send us back to the earth. Allah will say, no, you will live here forever. You don't have to do anything, this is your place forever. That is Allah's assurance, that is the highest reward for human beings. This is going to happen. So these are the things coming in front of our future, we should all prepare for it. So today we will talk about this topic, it's called micro level, creations of Allah. Allah created many things, one of the creatures is micro level, very small, we are going to share with you. This is the shape of that creature, it has eight legs, and it's called tardy great, that is the name. Allah says in the Quran, Allah says, I have created the heavens and the earth and all everything in between. Allah says, Allah Allah says, I have created the heavens and the earth and all, everything in between in six days. So there are differences. What is the difference between human and tardigrade? This is human, that is tardigrade. Right? Okay? So let's see the difference. Human being, we need air to breathe, is it not? Yes. We cannot eat, we cannot live without air. And there is an estimate that the human being can live up to 120 years. It may be less, but average is 120. Maximum. And we are constantly aging. The moment you are born, you think you are, you are getting younger, actually you are getting older. Your heart is getting older, every part of the body is getting older. Constantly aging. Your body has 80 percent water. That's why NASA has sent any probe to any planet. One of the mission is to find water. If there is water, there is a possibility of living things over there. If there is no water, there is nothing. There. The moon doesn't have water. Mars has water. And our body needs five to eight hours sleep every day. Is it not? Some maybe five, some six, some eight. Those kind of things. And we live in, in a temperature minus 50 to 130 degree. If you go to Alaska, it's minus 50. If you go to Saudi Arabia, 130. That is the range of temperature human being is walking and living. Uh, that is our range. And we are infected by various diseases. Is it not constantly? COVID, malaria, all kinds of diseases are coming and infecting us. And we cannot take high radiation. There is radiation, we'll talk about it. And you are very fragile in nature. If you fall, you break your bones. You are weak. You have disease. You have all kinds of things make you suffer constantly. So this is human. And let's see angels. Angels live with zikir of Allah. They don't need to eat anything. They make zikir and it fills their needs. Whatever it is, whether it is the stomach or whatever shape they have, they don't have any need to eat anything. That's what I'm saying. And they can pray continuously. We humans cannot. If Imam is longer in, 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 in the recitation of Quran, we get upset. It's too long. We can't. We have little less passions. Angels can pray continuously. There are descriptions that some angels, after their birth, they are making sajda, they will be making sajda whole life. They are making tower. Some are flying in the sky. So many ways Allah created them. Some in Ruku. Uh, they are constantly doing the same thing. 
as human we can't. So Allah gave us a break, five times Salah. Okay, take a break. After Fajr, take a break, come for Zohar. Those kind of things. He was, Allah, Allah gave actually 50 rakats, right? 50 yes. ayahs, 50 salat. But anyway, it's cut down because we cannot handle it. We don't, uh, we don't, the angels don't sleep. That is very important. We have to sleep. We fall asleep. Angels don't. They constantly move very fast. Uh, they, can dis they cannot disobey Allah. This is very important. As humans, we, you have the options to obey Allah and disobey Allah. <coughs> For angels, no options. They only obey Allah. <coughs> Their life is very long. They are very large in size. They don't need air, pressure or temperature. They don't need. We need control of temperature. This air conditioning or heating, whatever we have, it has to be controlled, so we can only feel comfortable at a certain temperature. So this is angels. What about tardigrades? They live on the earth, they are very small in size. They can live without food. How about that? They don't need to eat. For 30 years, how about that? We cannot even fast 15, 15 hours, right? We have hard time. We keep waiting for a third, right? Tardigrades don't. 30 years, no problem. Survive in any condition. They can be lifeless. This is interesting. They can be lifeless and come back to life. As human, once you are dead, you are dead. Right? Is it not? Nobody can come back. Tardigrade can. They can be on the earth even after human being lives. If all human being on the earth is dead, say tomorrow, say because there is no air. Say suppose there is no air, we all will be dead, but not ready. So there are some history. All human beings can be extinct. Technology cannot help. Ozone layer can be depleted. Right now we have holes in the ozone layer. So radiation, uh, radiation, gamma ray, electromagnetic waves can come into the earth and it can kill humans. Those are very dangerous. This is being protected by the air. But if the air is less, complete lot of atmosphere, if it happens, then human being will be dead. The sun can probably live another 10 billion years. It is burning continuously. It has also has, has a life. It cannot burn forever. Life can continue in microscopic level. The tardigrade has eight legs and it is considered the toughest animal. You should know about it because it is around everywhere. It is like one millimeter in size. 25 millimeter makes one inch, right? You guys are familiar about metric. So you can see how small it is, one millimeter. And that's how it looks in different places. It is actually everywhere. In front here, back here, in the tree, in the water, mud, everywhere. And uh, this is a big uh, YouTube, I think, you can video, you can see. This is a tardigrade. They're tiny animals that grow up to one millimeter long and have eight legs. They're also known as water bears. Their feet look like this, more like claws. And up close, their faces look like this. Some speculate that there are around 900 known species. They were given the name Tardigrata by Italian biologist Lazzaro Spallanzani. They're also known as moss piglets. They typically live around water in damp moss or lichens, but can be found almost everywhere on Earth. Some theorize they might have come from space. Of course, this is just a theory. They can survive dry periods by curling into little balls. They can hang around like that for a hundred years before casually regenerating. Some species are carnivorous. Some might even eat other tardigrades. So how resilient are these little guys? They can withstand 1,000 times the lethal human dose of X-ray radiation. In 2007, some tardigrades hitched a ride on a space shuttle and lived outside the spacecraft in an oxygen-deprived vacuum of space for 10 days. Many survived, all of which means it's probably impossible to kill a tardigrade. You can see some history about it. They live in moss, 
sand, fresh water in the sea, high temperature, pressure, all these things. They can live 30 years without food. We Muslims cannot even fast 15 hours, right? Uh, 24 hours. They can survive with temperature minus 454 degrees Fahrenheit. If you study physics, minus 460 is the absolute zero temperature, consider. At that low temperature, you can survive. That's why if you go to Alaska, we have gloves. Those who have gone there say you have gloves, it is rated minus 50, some minus 60, minus 70. If you do not wear that gloves, your hand will be frozen. So how about minus 454? Starting at will survive. And if you have 300 degrees Fahrenheit, it will survive. In 300 degrees, you can make barbecue, kebab, right? All these things. But tardigrade can survive at the time. A supernova, a large an asteroid can kill human, but not tardigrade. That's possible. There is there's a big, uh, what you call it, supernova or big asteroid can come through the atmosphere and hit the earth, and it can destroy the human civilization, but not tardigrade. Life on Earth can continue without human. Scientists believe that if the sun burns out, that is the only time to degree will be extinct. The body is divided into four segments, like this. And it can be on the top of Mount Everest. If you go to the top, 29,000 feet. Six miles. If you go to the top, you can find degree. If you go to the deep of the Pacific Ocean, seven miles. Deep, you can find Tardigrade. There are, there are some planets where the ocean is underground. Like we have, ocean is exposed. We have Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. You can see the water. But there are planets where the water is underground. Like this one, Jupiter's moon, Europa. There was a Time Magazine article shows that it is under the surface. The water level is as deep as 100 miles. Much bigger. Like Pacific Ocean is only seven miles. But there are big, big oceans. Even where you can find Arctic. So it can come back to life after it died, lifeless, like this. Like husk. See, that is the husk. That is the shell of the rice. You know, when you grow rice, it has a cover. That is the husk, which is lifeless. So this tardigrade can be lifeless like this and come back to life. They can, this is the most interesting part. You see, we take X-ray radiation. When you go to the hospital, you take X-ray for your heart, for your kidney, for so many things, for so many reasons. Most of the X-ray is 0.1 gray, one-tenth of a gray. Highest radiation is given to the women who has breast cancer. Highest low dose, 0.5. And if you give six gray, a human being will be dead on this plot. It is so powerful, dose. So how about 6,200 gray on the charity gray? It can survive. 6,000, not six. So when human being will be dead, the charity gray will not be dead, as you can see. It can absorb such a high dose of radiation. It can live at a very low pressure, like many planets has, like Earth has a pressure about 15 psi, pressure inch per square inch, pound per square inch. So if the pressure is low, still it can, we can survive. A good example, that is our skin. It's through the skin we have, sweat comes out, is it not? Sweat comes out. So if your pressure is low, if the pressure, outside pressure is low, the blood will come out through those holes. And if the pressure is high, your heart will stop pumping. Either way, it is difficult. That is one of the reasons when the astronaut goes to the space, they have the suit, so that if the pressure is not low, they can survive. Most of the plane flies above, intercontinental flies, flies 39,000, 40,000 feet above the earth, and the pressure is almost half. That's why they want you to go to sleep. The reason being they want to save money from the gas. It takes more gas to, to fire the jets, to fly in the high places. So they lower the pressure intentionally. 
So even at that pressure, you can survive. But if it pressure goes low, 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 close to zero, we will be dead. Like that. So this is tardigrade. So if you are human, we are all human, right here. Allah says you are the best creation. Best creation of Allah is human. Is it not? And we will all die for various reasons, not tardigrade. Tardigrade obeys Allah under all situations. High pressure, low pressure, high radiation, low radiation, high temperature, low temperature, everything is okay. They don't complain. We human constantly complain. Argue, fight, kill each other. That's what you are doing on the earth. But the best creation, but you are good in fighting. We are doing every day. Allah created human better than angels. Is it not Allah took the challenge from the angels? Angels said, don't create them. They will make trouble on the earth. Allah says, I know, you don't know. So Allah created the human and this human are doing worst activities. Even animal can do that. We are doing all kinds of stuff around the world. All the killings happening, all the wars, bombings, everything is happening only to kill him, more humans. But at the end of the day, only human being will go to the earth. So, at the end of the day, all the human being will go to the heaven. Not tardigrade, not any animal. Is it not? Allah will judge you based on your activities. What did you do? Good deeds, bad deeds. Pamayam al miskala zaratin khaira yara. Pamayam al miskala zaratin shara yara. In the day of judgment. You will be judged based on your activities. I showed you in the map at the beginning. That's what Allah says. Pamayam al miskala. Good things, bad things. Even at the microscopic level, they will be measured. Like Sheikh was saying that he has to go through very small to see a little dot or a defect in the gem, right? Yes. So Allah also will judge you for every action you did, even at the microscopic level. Nothing will be missed, that's the point. Good deeds or bad deeds. So there are some research ongoing for the benefit of mankind. We need to know that because someday we might benefit. How to have a rehydration condition? How they can live so long without water? We cannot. We have to drink water. Right? How it lives without food, water, air for so long? How it revives from lifeless condition? How it dies and comes back to life? How it is? How we can reverse those conditions? Why extreme temperature, pressure, radiation don't affect their lives? How to benefit from tardigrade survival secrets? Can tardigrade ingredients help human a better life? Is it possible that you can find something in tardigrade which you can use it to make a capsule or, or, or something? If you take it, you live longer or you will, you will of course, you will die, but uh, it might extend your health benefits. That, that is the research ongoing right now. Because it is so good in so many ways, it is difficult to ignore this. Now here is my request to all of you, Alhamdulillah, you are all intelligent people. If Allah offer you this offer, that okay, you can live on the earth. Nobody wants to die on the earth, right? You all have to die, right? Is it not? Yes? We have to die. But nobody wants to die also. We want to live as long as possible. So if Allah offers you, okay, I am going to let you live on the earth, you don't die, not as human, but as static. I will make you static grade and you can live on the earth forever. Or, other option is, or you stay as human, do good deeds and go to the heaven. Only entrance for the heaven is human. So, if you can be static grade, live on the earth forever or you can do good things and go to the heaven forever. Which one you will choose? Heaven. 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 Huh? What do you want? Heaven. Who wants to be tardigrade? What's wrong with that? We live forever. We don't have to eat him. Huh? 
So how about this brother? Heaven. Heaven, you want to go to heaven? Yes. How about this big brother? <laughs> you want to go to heaven? Yes. Okay, mashallah. It is very good thing to know that. Uh, so you want to go to the heaven? It, it has a price tag. It is not free. You have to do good deeds. As Allah says in the Quran. Right? <laughs> Now in this world, we all want to better job, better income, better profession, everything better, right? Is it not what you are doing every day? We try to do better. Whatever job you have, do better. Whatever income you have, you want to make more. Constantly you are doing. So if you want to go to the heaven, how about the best heaven? Should not you try that, okay, Allah, I want, I want the best one. I will go to the heaven, I will go to the heaven, inshallah, but I will try to go to the best heaven. Jannah will trade those. That has a name. I want to go I want to go that place. Who wants to go to that place? Answer. Right? Shake one? Okay. How it will happen? It will not happen just like for any Muslim. It should happen for those people who will propagate Islam. Dawah. Spreading Islam is the highest paid job. That's what all the prophets used to do. All the companions of the Prophet did that. And if you do that, you can get the highest heaven. So this is the chart I made for all of you. As you can see, you are born here, you will die here. If you are a regular Muslim, you pray five times. You did not cheat anybody, you did everything right. But as soon as you die, everything stops. You are dead, you are waiting for the day of judgment. And that is your reward level. Whatever it is. How many? Salads, how many hearts, how many fast, what you did, whatever you did, accounting, everything is recorded and it will be, it will stop here. Because you cannot fast, you cannot pray, you cannot do anything. But another person, he did a lot of dawah. His reward will be exploding. It will continue to grow even after he dies. Think about Imam Bukhari, he collected Sohi al Bukhari, 600,000 hadiths. And he only selected 4,774 hadiths. That is called Sohi al -Bukhari. That book is so valuable, so precious. Till the last day of this world, no Muslim can learn a Sohi Hadith without that book. Is it not? So that is his asset. What is your asset? What you are living on the earth? So think about future. That, okay, I am going to leave, but I want to do something better. Like the Sheikh is trying to build that margin. May Allah give barakah in your apples. You write a book. You plant a tree. You did something which will benefit mankind even after you leave. That is Sadaqai Jari. You make a funeral. You make a, um, what you call, like you have a funeral program also. You have a, uh, like orphanage. Uh, you help refugees. All kinds of activities you do even after you leave. Most of the time we are focused on, okay, I want to make a couple of million dollars, a couple of big houses, and that's it. Nothing, non-productive things. But you do those things which will benefit mankind forever, like Bukhari. He had over 90,000 students in his life. 90,000 students learned hadith directly from him. And when he died, he was alone in one room, in a village, in the middle of darkness, Samarkand, with one of his students. That is the time when Bukhari passed away. Whole world didn't know what he did. They found out everything after he died. Even whatever he collected, he could not finish. So his student was Muslim in Iran. He followed his work. So that's why most of the hadiths you'll see, it says Bukhari and Muslim. So they continue and finish the job so mankind can benefit from their work. So you leave some things which will benefit mankind for the work. Write a book, make a presentation, education, merge um, You name anything. Anything will benefit even when you leave. That is defined as Sadaka Jai. It can be anything. As much as you can do, that will make you richer and richer. How rich it will be? This is the reward. Like, do you want one dollar here or infinite dollar? Which one is better, Shaykh? See the reward level? You don't want to be satisfied with one. You want as much as possible. Like Bukhari did, Sahabas did. They just established. Four Sahabi came to